Hello everybody, what is up cool kids? Me, Steve J. Uh, Super Robot King, and it's another mail unboxing. Uh, this time it's another packet from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, let me think. I know, okay, it's only two things. Because it was sitting in my warehouse for the longest. But I'm kind of excited. Ooh, they're kind of heavy. Um, so the first one that I'm going to open up Figma Horse. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, in a while, I got it. they re released the Figma Horse. Uh, one of the few Figmas I think that are made. Oh, this one actually says made in China. Huh, interesting. I thought uh, the horses were made in Japan, but I guess I'm wrong. Big fan of uh, 112 articulated horses because they can never do them right. For multiple reasons. Because, you know, like a horse is a solid, heavy body being held up by two scrawny legs. Uh, but, let's see, I, I honestly don't know if this will be able to hold up well. Let's see. Maybe. Hmm. Quite sturdy. A lot sturdier than the uh, Kodo Buki. No, the Rebel Tech? Kaido? It's Kaido Rebel Tech 1. Cool. So it comes with the horse. And uh, standard Figma stand and bag for accessories, which the horse does not come with any accessories. Also, the saddle looks like it's a uh, one with the horse. Um, yeah, you take it off. It just does this. Guess you can like swap it with the other horse. I wonder what these holes are for. That, that's that's interesting. Let's play. Oh, version 2. Uh, saddle comes out purely to adjust the length for. Oh, uh, this is to adjust the length for, like, figures. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, 112, 112 scale horse. Uh, posable. It has a little little mounty joint on the butthole, so I can make it gallop. Uh, yeah, look at that, James Baxton. Uh, I don't think it comes with any like replacement parts. But yeah, horse. I'll probably be standing to having a uh, one of my Jean d'Arc Figmas right on it. I wonder what these are for. I would put like a sword on it or something. Either way, that's, that's, that's a horse. And then, as always, oh, I forgot to mention Digimon update. I got uh, Shadow Howl, the, the trial version. I'm on Where Guru Mon. Um, uh, yeah, Digimon related. We got uh, Hatsune Miku, Kikarumi, Nendoroid. Let's, let's zoom in on that. Let's zoom in on that. Uh, is it focused? There we go. Yeah, Kikarumi, Digimon. Uh, I got it because it's the only Digimon. Um, Android to exist right now. I don't know if it's Hatsune Miku. I have a few Hatsune Miku things. Um, but this one's the one I first deliberately bought. It's, oh, that Akumon is so weird. Let's, let's see. Take that out. The, the Hatsumimi Miku ties a 
attached to it. Let's see, let's see, okay, that comes out. So you can do that. Okay, what type of hair is this? This is like that. Cool. Face. How do you take the face out? Oh, take the jaw. And, uh, what's your name, Iku? Oh, it's very articulated. I kind of like that. Well, let's see what else we got. We got two faces. Now we got a bunch of accessories. Yeah, I got, when was the last time I got an Android? It was... Oh, they're, they're doing a battle. To wear the room on. Guess uh, we're gonna do a little, little distraction mode. Let's just let's just let's just watch. Ah, I'm not you're on live TV. Being recorded right now. Don't don't let me down. Nope. Not looking good. Nothing. Nothing can. Nothing is. Good. Nope. Well. Disappointments. Disappointments. What was that? Stage 10 also? Man. Alright. Either way, we're back. Let's see what else. Let's see what else this comes with. Such tape. Let's see. I hate doing this. It's my least favorite thing to do. There we go. Okay, so you get some goggles, a butterfly, base, uh, attachment, and a replacement neck joint. Cool. And let's, let's Look, let's check these things out. So yeah, putting the Hatsune Miku face back up. Let's go with let's go with a different face. Okay. This is chin. Face. Maybe it's face hair. Or uh, whatever. Head. Was oh, it? Is it out of focus? Because I forgot to refocus it from my Digimon fight. I'm sorry about that. There we go. Okay. Face, chin. I do like the posability. It's very fun. Not not like most androids. Oh, it's. Let's see. It's a double ball in the legs. Mm -hmm. I think these goggles are for. I actually don't know. Well, they don't. They don't go on Miku. It's just a hold and be cool. But this, this is a butterfly that you remove his middle finger, and then you can be like. I don't know if it's a Hatsune Miku butterfly or like a Digimon butterfly, but she comes with a butterfly. I wonder if. Let's go with. 
this might this might work. All right, so I got I got red. Pulls my trainer red. Let's see, let's see if he likes Digimon. Let's see if he can. Yeah. Also, let's let's see if he can wear the goggles. Don't even know how like you would put these on. Hmm. Either way, okay, so that's a full face. I don't know if I can, that would, all right. So we can put a full head in there. Can't put his hat, although that would be pretty good. Take the Miku ears out. Yeah, it, it doesn't work because it needs the hair. Um, I think the most I can do is use the head. Or like, just have the body. You can do that. Pokemon Trainer Red wearing an Agumon. Uh, Posability, yeah, super good. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Nothing, no, not much. I wonder if I can put this on. It's fine because I have nothing but Pokemon Androids. So you can put it. A Digimon fan? There we go. Cool. Alright. I guess, I guess that'll be it, guys. Um, Till next time when I get a box of other stuff. Goodbye.